Hello there and welcome to English with Monty. We're on to episode number 59. I have Gideon with me. Hi Gideon, how are you doing? Hi John, fine. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. We can Literally see each see other. You. Look, yeah. look, this is amazing, isn't it? Uh, this will this will be where um, all our audience disappears. Um, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess people have seen us before, though, haven't they? So they obviously know that we we look amazing. Not the new viewers. Not the new viewers. That's true. That's true. But yes, um, this is going out on video as well as on the podcast. So if you are listening on the podcast and you can't see us and you're wondering why, it's because you're listening to a podcast. But we are on video. So if you want to see us on video, you can see us on video doing this podcast. So um, how was your morning anyway, Gideon? What have you been up to? I walked. Ooh, where did you walk? Uh, no, somewhere? Just... No, no, I like to go for a walk in the morning, John. Oh, okay. I went, went for a little stroll okay. in the neighborhood. Ah. And... Uh, yeah. Everything was was okay in the neighborhood. Uh, everything in its place. <laughs> everything in its place. It's a nice sunny day here in Harris, the eastern suburbs. Ah, lovely. Yes. Yeah, I went swimming at the weekend on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday was was a little bit cloudy, but as quite a few listeners may know, I live on the coast and went for a little bit of a swim. The water is actually reasonably warm now. Well, it's not okay. super cold, let's say that. It's just reasonably uh, okay. So um, mm. you can stay in there for a good 10, 15, 20 minutes, and it's not too bad. So, mm. Mm. so yeah. no, it's very nice. I thought, right, today we're going to carry on with the common mistakes, if that's okay with you, because we did an episode before and it proved to be very popular. I think this kind of topic is always very popular. And so... Let's kick off, shall we? Um, okay, so I thought we'd have a look at practice and practice, first of all. Practice and practice. Yeah, this is a common mistake, isn't it? But even by native speakers, isn't it? So we pronounce them exactly the same, but the spelling is different. So it's practice kind of with an S before the E at the end or with a C before the E at the end. Um, so what's the difference? When do we use them? How do we use them? Uh, it depends if you're speaking British or American English. Mm. Okay. Um, as in British English, um, with an S is the verb. Yes, that's right, isn't it? I think in American English, I'm not an expert in American English, but I think it's the same practice and practice it's not both of the same oh is it okay okay yeah but that's the important difference i guess in british english isn't it that we spell the verb differently um so yeah i practiced golf at the weekend would be with an s because it's a verb mm -hmm. and then if you go to your um, dental practice then uh yeah that would be with a c mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. It's commonly confused, though, with natives, isn't it, I would say? Yeah, yeah, sure. I think so. But you can get away with it. He says, oh, no, I was using American. I was using the American. <laughs> yeah, and then, then everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Next one we'll have a look at is hanged and hung. Hunged, did you say? H hanged. Sorry, I should have said hanged. Hanged and hung. Yes, so the verb is to hang. Yes. And there are two past tenses. There's hung. I hung the picture on the wall. Mm -hmm. I um, hung around the neighborhood for a while. And there is hanged, which means to uh, kill with a rope <laughs> the murderer <laughs> was hanged yes that's correct isn't it uh yeah so i mean if you're in the area you know and you stab somebody or something then then you could be could be hanged well hanged, not yeah. not nowadays but uh... it, used to, it used to be um hanged for both hmm. but then um 
people got confused. They heard, oh, sing, sang, sung. Oh, no, was it uh, the wishes of a verb, which, um, yeah, uh, there, are, there are several verbs with, with hung, hang, hung. Um, and and um, so people started saying hung. Mm -hmm. um, but that wasn't right. And the legal profession said, no, no, that's not correct. So the legal profession kept hanged, but people started saying hung. So originally it was a regular verb. Oh, okay. I don't for know everybody, that. For everybody, yeah. Yeah, because I have heard it where people say the man was hung for his crime. So that, that is used on occasion, isn't it? That's wrong. Yes, but, well, but it is used. Yeah. Uh, Native speakers um, make this mistake. Well, I suppose if, if everyone's using it, then it's not a mistake anymore. But as we speak, it should be ha you hang the person. Because if you hung the person, you mean you, you I don't know, attach a hook to their T-shirt and <laughs> you, they were hung outside. Yeah, hung, hung to a wall, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, hung to a wall. Maybe, yeah. maybe in a horror film or something like that, that, yeah, that would happen. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I think that was pretty clear. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. I, di I didn't, I wasn't actually sure about that one, but that the next one is, well, this is a curious one, uh, out of date and old fashioned. I'm not really hmm. sure why these would get mixed up. I mean, do, do you think these would get mixed up? Um, maybe it depends which language, which is your first language, I guess. Yeah, maybe sure. In some languages are the same. I can't, I can't say that for sure, mm -hmm. but possibly. Yeah, because um, I I guess old fashioned is just when you're you're not really up to date, isn't it? And um, I don't know. You have old fashioned way of dressing, for example, and um, out of date is. Well, I suppose would you apply that to food if something's out of date? Is that right? We say that about food. Yeah, an old fashioned is not necessarily a negative thing. Mm -hmm. it's a fashion it is a fashion it's just an old fashion maybe that's what you want yeah maybe that's what you, that's the uh, style you're going for yeah but i think a lot of the time it is used in a negative way isn't it if if i say to you or you have well no i suppose not you you might be right i mean you could say somebody has old negative yeah old-fashioned values i suppose it depends how you're using it doesn't it yeah um, yeah Okay. And out of date, is, is it only about food? Do we use it in other other ways? Something has gone beyond the date that it's uh, no longer, meaning it's no longer valid. Mm -hmm. I bought a train ticket. You have to use it by the 31st of uh, July. Mm -hmm. And now it's the 1st of August. Now it's out of date. You can't use it anymore. So that's gone beyond the date where it's valid. Yes. So food is but food as well yeah food as well yeah but don't yeah. say food is out of date you say food's out of no it's it's past it's sell by date it's used by date it depends i think it's regional as well isn't it all depends on the country yeah I, I think you're right yeah it's kind of past its sell by date isn't it yeah or best before date something like that best that's more common date, yeah. yeah but yeah out of date i as you say i suppose it's not within the time frame that it should be used or yeah um i don't know yeah, used, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. And next one is win and beat. I think this is quite a common one. I I had a student the other day that said, "Oh, well, doesn't beat mean to to kind of hit somebody?" I guess it does as well. You can you can beat somebody with your fists, for example. But yeah, beat in this context compared to win is, for example, uh, well, I'm going to give this example. From from last night, Spain beat Georgia in in Euro twenty twenty four. So it means that they they had a victory against them. Um, yeah, beat is um, the transitive verb, so mm -hmm. it takes an object. So you beat somebody. Uh, so you beat a country. You beat France. You beat Georgia. Um, you beat Johnson. Whatever. Mm -hmm. um but win you just win we won so the obvious the opposite of lost yes yeah so you don't you don't win somebody we won spain 
Yes. Well, you can win Spain. You can win a lottery. It can be transited in that way. But yes. in a victory, in terms of a victory against another team, you, you don't. No, that's it, isn't it? You so win, you could. No, you, you, yeah, you win the game, don't you? You mm -hmm. win the game. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not right in that case. You win the game, but you don't mention the opponent after the verb win. Yeah, that's it. You don't win against somebody, do you? You beat somebody. So yeah, you beat somebody. Yeah, you win something. Yes. Thinking aloud here, John. Forgive <laughs> me. You win something. Yes. But you beat someone. Yeah, yeah, or a team in most cases. Yeah, no, but that's a, we won the gold medal. Mm -hmm. We beat, um, whatever country, Burundi. Burundi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We we did well beating them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's perfect. I I think that's a good explanation, and hopefully that will give people a good idea. Oh, uh, this next one comes up all the time. So many oh, yeah. people say to me, they say shadow instead of shade. So, what is the difference between shadow and shade? Um, so sh a shadow is a shape mm -hmm. made by an object when it's placed before the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In and shade is protection against the sun. Yes. Okay. If you want to feel cool, by like cool in the sense of not hot, we should sit in the shade, not we sit in the shadow. Yeah. There is a shadow. We could sit. There's a shadow over there. We could. But we could sit. But that. Yeah. That's the shape. But um. Well, I. But normally, I would say those shadows is used at night, isn't it? I would say. For example, if you've got the moon and the moon highlights the building and then the building casts a shadow, doesn't it? So, I mean, I don't know. Does Do we often say there's a shadow of a building during the day? I would, I would normally, you know, I mean, it may be true uh, as in terms of its meaning, but we don't tend to say it, do we? We, 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 we tend to say, okay, we don't say let's stand in that shadow of that building. We, we no, exactly. Just say you know I'm going to stand in the shade. I'm saying, um, get out of my way. You're casting a, a shadow here. I can't. Um, uh, I can't read my book because it's too dark. Because you're standing mm -hmm. in front of the light. Mm -hmm. And so, John, stand away. Don't don't cast a shadow. Yeah, usually cast a shadow. Cast a shadow. Yeah. 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 Isn't it? Yes. And and if it's dark at night, you you often see, hear the idea of uh, somebody creeping about in the shadows. So yeah, it's you know somebody who is avoiding the light, isn't it? Really, um, yeah. In that context, so yeah, it's it's I don't know. To me, it's it's usually used in a dark context, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Where where there is no sun. Mm -hmm. Well, shadows make things dark. That's true. That's the, that's the whole point. That's probably why, yeah. though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, next one. Interested and interesting. Well, this is this is frequently confused, I think. We, we've covered this quite a few times, I think, the idea between mm -hmm. an ED adjective and an ING adjective. I think most people should be okay with them, but can we give a quick reason why those are different and where we use them yeah go on john okay i'll do it it's my turn it's, it's my turn. turn it's my turn uh, so i guess something is interesting as in the film was interesting so it describes how you think of the film or what yeah. you think about the film so this is an interesting film and if you say i'm interested in the film then that's talking about your feeling so um, we use the preposition in with interested, don't we? Um, always, it kind of goes together. So I'm interested in watching, I don't know, cult classics or Marvel movies. Um, you know, it, mm -hmm. it shows something that I have an interest for. What, was that okay? Yeah, was that... yeah, that's okay. I think <laughs> you, you also, just to add that you can use the ing to talk about a, a trait a feature of somebody's personality for example mm -hmm. so and uh the ed to show how somebody is 
at the moment. So, for example, if I say Bob is boring and Bob is bored, it's not the same thing at all. So uh, Bob is boring. That is a feature his personality. That's how he is. Mm -hmm. John, Bob, I say John, sorry. John. Bob is bored means at this moment there's nothing interesting for him uh, happening yeah have yeah. nothing happening yeah nothing but, sparking joy in his life well but he he's got that grammar podcast hasn't he i'm really surprised <laughs> that he's boring and bored because his, his his podcast is better than mine but yeah, yeah fair enough <laughs> but, uh but yeah that that <laughs> that was good i think i think the way you Ex kind of expanded upon that was was good and hopefully yeah makes thank that you. a bit clearer yeah thank you okay right let's move on to the next one so oh this is interesting we've got suit fit and match so we're, we're going on to three together so what's oh. the difference between suit fit and match am i allowed to ask you that question are you are you are you in a i'll do my state? best fit state to I'll answer do my that. Best. <laughs> Does this so, question suit you? Are, are you a good match for this question? I'm not sure. Suit means it's appropriate for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that's a beautiful suit, but it, that's a beautiful. No, that's a beautiful shirt, but it doesn't suit you. Okay, it's the wrong color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I think you should go for something uh, uh, white, a white shirt, John. That'll suit you better. Mm -hmm. okay so appropriate for you yes okay yeah. i think so um fit i could say that white shirt it suits you perfectly but it, it doesn't fit you it's too it's too big you get a smaller size yeah so it, it is about the size isn't it yeah so suit in that case it looks good it's just not yeah it's not fitting as in it's not yeah it doesn't doesn't i don't know your, your biceps bulge too much or something yeah 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 exactly and match you say oh you've got a blue suit on but you're wearing a green tie you got uh, your group you're wearing a sorry you're wearing a, a blue shirt but you've got a green tie and then they don't match you should change the color yeah so it means that the combination isn't good is good or isn't good if you use a negative yeah yeah no exactly so yeah i think that's that was uh yeah well explained i think that's a good way of explaining them but yeah as you said kind of it's kind of interesting because you've got suit to to talk about something that you would dress up formally um you know perhaps if you're working in banking or something you would put a suit on or a man mm -hmm. a man typically would uh women obviously have suits as well but yeah it's it's kind of the the whole formal combination isn't it of the jacket and the trousers um but yeah your suit suits you is, is the possible thing to say isn't it as in your exactly. formal attire looks good on you you can use suit in many many different ways you can use it for time as well does this time suit you yeah uh, you asked me if i wanted to start this podcast at 10 o'clock does the time suit you Mm -hmm. So you can use it like that as well. Not does it fit you or match you. So no. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Yeah, that's another good way of using it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And next one. So we've got injured, damaged, and wounded. Injured, I guess, is talking about, I don't know, on the football pitch, maybe you sprain your ankle. So that is an injury. And uh, mm -hmm. so I'm injured. Uh, so I have to come off the pitch. Um, if I'm wounded, I suppose it's when your when your flesh is cut open in some way, isn't it? So there's kind exactly. of blood. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that would be wounded, and then damage, I suppose, is is more about an object, isn't it? So I mean, your car gets damaged if you uh, I don't know, crash into somebody. Uh, you can't really damage your body, can you? You can't damage a person. Well, maybe. Um, mentally but not mm. physically you don't damage a person no that's true that's true yeah i suppose you would say in that case to to hurt somebody wouldn't you so i mean usually with a person you can hurt them physically or mentally um yeah but yeah i mean to damage somebody 
is is kind of quite serious isn't it if you if you damage somebody i guess uh, yeah yeah i think so uh wounded just come back to wounded i think in a fight or a battle you you would often use wounded because the likelihood is that you'll get cut hmm. whereas yeah. uh, uh injured if you i know run for the train and you fall over get injured yeah means hurt inside yeah yeah exactly you don't get wounded in that case yes mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah it's more of kind of a battle orientation idea isn't it to be wounded quite frequently yeah okay uh so fee fair and fine do you want to oh, thumb yeah indeed do you want to do this one <laughs> I, th I think it's got your name written all over it so yeah i don't know why <laughs> but yeah i think you should do it uh fair f-a-r-e yes point out yeah f-a-r-e for those on the podcast not to... um that is um i think tickets you have a fair mm -hmm. the tr if you're looking for flights you check the fares or whatever your destination is or a train fare you ask mm -hmm. what's the fare to manchester so that'd be the fare yes yeah um, indeed isn't it um, a fee would be what somebody, uh, ch an organization charges for a service. Yeah. Uh, so you, you, the legal fees, if you're buying a house, there are legal mm -hmm. fees. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have a membership fee if you join the golf club or something. Yeah, or um, booking fee is quite frequent, isn't it? Booking fee, yeah. Booking online, for example. Exactly. And yeah. fine uh, is a penalty that you pay if you break a rule. You, you um, went on the... You didn't pay your fare. You went on the underground, so now you have to pay a fine because they, they, they stopped you. The inspector stopped you. Yeah, and it's spelled exactly the same as saying I'm fine, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I got a fine. Yeah, and now I'm not connected. I'm not yeah. fine because I got a fine. Exactly. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh right, let's have a look at the next one. So antique, old or ancient. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I, I think I know this one. Okay. <laughs> I think I know this one. Uh and antique is an object, I think it must be at least 100 years old. That's what they say, I think, generally, be mm -hmm. something to be antique. So, um, isn't I've it usually about furniture? Is that right? No, I could have a, I don't know, an antique. I've got an antique um, watch. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but it's normally it's about objects, isn't oh, it? If you say something usually from about, antique, yeah, usually yeah. about ob objects. Yeah, I mean, if you went to an uh, antique shop, you would just expect it to be full of furniture, wouldn't you? That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, an old book, I guess, could be an antique. This is very old, but but you, yeah, true. often furniture is true, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, ancient is much much older ancients usually well it has two meanings ancient really because ancient refers to the periods of ancient rome and ancient greece mm -hmm. you say something is ancient to an ancient civilization or, or, or egypt the pyramids are, are ancient mm -hmm. although people will use it colloquially just to mean very very old like people tell me my musical taste is ancient whatever but um something like that uh your um yeah your my phone is six months old it's ancient so colloquially people will use it like that yeah it's quite a slang slang expression isn't it kind of yeah. derogatory i guess um, yeah so yeah. yeah but actually it refers to to those civilizations that it, have long it, gone Indeed, yeah, it is about civilizations, really, isn't it? To say something is ancient, yeah, yeah. and ancient oh, Rome, ancient yeah. the Colosseum is ancient, for mm -hmm. example. Rome, yeah. yeah. Well, so old is quite an easy one, I suppose, isn't it? Old means not new, mm -hmm. <laughs> or not young, yeah, not young, 
I suppose. Or not young. Or not young, yeah. Exactly. Um, Or the previous one also means my old job, I didn't have to do this. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, my th- so that could mean former. So um, I ch- my new car's great. My old car was super slow. So that's yeah, it. yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, I think that was, yeah, because previous is probably a bit more formal, isn't it? In a lot of cases, uh, yeah, but yeah, for- um, former, yeah, 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 former. yeah, exactly. Okay, we've got. I think we'll probably be able to run through a few more because we haven't haven't spoken that much so next one so while for or during i th- i noticed this a lot with french native speakers they will use during instead of for um which is common yeah. wouldn't you say yeah absolutely yeah during i think it's in spanish as well yeah i, say that. I think it's a it's uh, a bit of a false friend isn't it really yeah 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 so exactly. you, you could say during this podcast we spoke about lots of different common mistakes in English. So it's like in the middle of it while it's going on. Whereas if you talk about a period of time, well, I suppose you could use it in a period of time, depending on the context. But anyway, if I say that this podcast lasted for 30 minutes, so in in this case, I'm using for, um, do we use during for a period of time? Yeah. An easy way to remember during is mm-hmm. just that it goes before a noun. Oh, yeah. During the summer, during mm. the podcast, during yeah. the day. You wow. can't say for the summer, for while the day. No. So put it before a noun. And oh, wow. Be okay. During the war. Ah. Yeah. Not this... notice that. I, I hadn't. That's why, you're on the... <laughs> That's why you're on the show. That's great. Okay. That's really yeah. good. Has been teaching too long and they've come up with these these tricks. But yeah, as simple as that. Yeah. You you put during means the time inside the period I'm going to mention after the word during. Yes. Yeah. Uh, We did some grammar during the podcast. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And four four is a duration. That's why people confuse confuse because four is a duration of time. And it's it's followed often by a um, a number it's for six months, for a day, for, for for one month. Yeah. And while, well, two things happening at the same time. Yeah. Well, uh, so or it could be it has two it has more than one meaning. While I I suppose yeah. So I mean, we could say see you in a while, which means yeah, that's in, a noun. Yeah, as a noun. So that's see, see you. In a in an indefinite period of time. Yes, exactly. And if if you use them at the same time, so while you were uh, drinking your cup of coffee, I was combing my hair. Mm-hmm. That's a bad example because I don't have any hair. But yes, that is the only example I have. But anyway, it's a, how else would you use while? Do we have another while? While, um, uh, I think you've covered it, have you? So two things, or, or yeah, no, the other way you can use while is show contrast, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm British while my neighbour is French. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because we've spoken so, about this one before. Because I wasn't sure about that, but yeah, it, we can, can't we? Because uh, yeah, often, often whereas. we use whereas. Yeah. yeah. So whereas and while in this case are, are yeah. pretty much the same, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Right, next one. Carry, wear, and bear. Okay, this this is <laughs> this is curious. Yeah, I suppose I suppose the reason why this is confusing is because, for example, I don't know. Yeah, you wear glasses, don't you? Um, yeah. But is it to do with glasses? Is that confusion? But uh, why why would these be confused? In fact, why why have they come up with these ones? Um why yes no i i'm just that 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 are they confused i'm not even sure that they're confused are they right. carry wear and bear so mm. i mean yeah you can no. wear your your hair long who's they by the way huh who's they i don't know just people okay no i mean you you said 
they confuse but this oh, wait, i would sorry yeah i just mean students in general <laughs> are they are they confused uh do people get confused with this one i don't know um, so so yeah you can wear your hair long um and then i, I said oh yeah sorry no go 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 on go on i i that was that was it for me i didn't have anything else to say. <laughs> i suppose carry and bear you should have cat um you 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 have to bear the guilt or carry mm -hmm. the guilt, but you mm -hmm. probably say bear. Maybe some people could confuse that. Uh, I did a terrible thing, and I have to bear the guilt of that for the rest of my life. Yeah, I guess you could yeah. say. I guess you could say carry, couldn't you? Uh, I think you could say carry. Yeah, but I, I mean, I guess you have to bear bear your weight, don't you? So yeah, if you. I don't know if you've injured your leg. It's like I can't, mm -hmm. I can't bear my my weight, as in I can't um, put all of my weight on that leg, isn't it? Yeah. So that yeah, yeah, that and then sense. carry, yeah, carry. I mean, you're just got something in your hands, haven't you? You carry something, uh, but as you said, like metaphorically, yeah. you could carry guilt or bear guilt or bear the blame, I suppose, yeah. or carry the blame, blame as well. That, that's that's true. Yeah. carry the blame so yeah yeah okay uh, well i think we've covered that and still already and yet why why are these ones oh, yeah. confused yeah they are quite frequently confused aren't they um i suppose yeah. in terms of positions isn't it really to some extent um i think yeah if it's a if it's a affirmative or negative statement for a start mm -hmm. um so uh, uh, just to come to already first, maybe you often use already to talk about something that happens early, earlier than expected. Mm -hmm. What well, have you finished already? You've got you, you. This exam is three hours, and you 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 walk out after one hour. You finished already. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's earlier than expected. What is it already dark? But it's only four o'clock. Oh, yeah, well, it's the winter. Two very um, good examples. Okay. Yeah. And so still is like a continuing situation. Are you still doing that, John? I thought you should have finished an hour ago. Are we um we're still waiting? It hasn't arrived yet, the package. And I we're suppose waiting. Yeah, I suppose the confusion comes often, isn't it, with when you're using the present perfect. Uh, cause yeah, we're still in yet it's slightly different meaning, isn't it? And then you change the position. So if you're using a negative, you say Matt Damon still hasn't been on our podcast yet. You know, we keep yeah. on asking him and asking yeah, him exactly. and it just doesn't happen. So, yeah. So in and this case, it's, it's something that's been going on for a long time, isn't it? Whereas yeah. I guess with yet, yet goes at the end of the sentence doesn't it yeah so... yet is usually questions and negatives and it's just mm -hmm. asking for information yeah uh have you done that yet mm -hmm. asking no i haven't done it yet so just asking for any information about if something is is completed mm -hmm. uh, you can use yet you can use yet a different way i haven't yet finished mm -hmm. but usually that's a bit more formal i'm yet to do that well, we'd better not go into that now, but usually it comes at the end. Mm -hmm. The question, the negative. The yeah. The, yeah, those two last examples, I suppose, were a bit more formal, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if you exactly. say, I, I'm yet to do that, it, it's like saying, uh, well, you could... It's the same still... as I haven't done it yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, maybe slightly more like literary or something like that, but it's the same. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This one definitely is an issue with Italian speakers. I think probably with French and Spanish as well. Travel, yeah, voyage definitely. and journey. Def definitely. So definitely, yeah, this comes up all the time. I think I even made a video on my YouTube channel about this very thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first video I ever made. Yeah. Or one of them, uh, because it's such a, it's such a common uh, mistake. So, uh, travel is usually a verb. I can explain this if you like. I've done I, it so many times. Yeah, I'll fall asleep and then explain it because I've done, I've done this so often. Well, that's okay. I mean, you're obviously good at doing it. <laughs> I would hope. 
Um, but travel travel is usually a verb. Yes. That's what people say. I did a, a common mistake is like, uh, I went on a travel last week. I know I, I traveled there. I traveled. We're going to, I'm going to travel next week. Um, so uh, it's usually a verb. There's an exception. You say business travel, but usually it's a verb. I say usually. Yeah. Or you um, could say travel agent as well, I suppose. A travel. Yeah, exactly. But if you say something like, did you have a good travel? That's not correct. No, well, usually it's trip as well, isn't it? Yes. In that case, did oh, you it's have not a good there. trip? Yeah, we didn't know trip should be included. That's the other one. Yes, that's true. Trip. That's true. Uh, yeah. um, journey is traveling from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, um, how how was your journey on the bus? How, yeah, exactly. It was, it's a, yeah. Uh, the journey to Australia took 24 hours from, from London. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So then, that's it. And then it's voyage, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, important, especially for French people out there uh, teaching or the pronunciation in English is voyage, not voyage or something like that. Yes. It's voyage. And it just means traveling by boat could, or could, in space. You or in space. space. You do say yeah. it for space as well, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Find that yeah. curious one why they use it for space. I guess it's like the sea, but just in space. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Well, because you, you always say a spaceship as well, don't you? Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That is a curious one. So, um, the Titanic that sank on its maiden voyage, unfortunately. It did. Yeah. And I, I suppose. It, as British people, we do use the expression bon voyage, don't we? Uh, if you're... Bon voyage, that's true. That's true. Yes. Bon voyage. Sounds a bit posh. Uh, bon it does voyage, sound a bit posh. But we, yeah. does. <laughs> we, do, we do use it sometimes, yeah. Bon appétit, yeah. bon voyage, yeah. Yeah. So... Word. so in that case, that's an exception. You say voyage, not voyage. Yes. Bon yeah. voyage means nothing. It, it, that's correct, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. I think we've covered. Oh, is that it? That's that's it. How did, did you I do want out some of 10? more? I'd, I would say <laughs> I would say eleven and a half. Oh yes, you're very kind. Yeah, well, you know, I think the listeners and viewers will agree that you are a very good person to have on the show, as you always are. And of course, you <laughs> you have your um channel as well don't you and and yeah. also are you gonna gonna mention like ice banana if, if you go on if you've got an hour an hour i can plug everything i can <laughs> really. Boy, I, don't, know. I just right, i just flat plug my uh uh youtube channel let them talk tv and uh yeah check it out it's it's fantastic it's amazing life changing yeah, yeah and i, I the good I, way <laughs> yes, I, well, it has changed my life. So well, there you, are. you know, I I wouldn't be doing Literally. this video if it wasn't for Let Them Talk TV. Oh, ah, uh, well, and are. and you encouraging me to do, to do videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To 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 get off the 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 drums and the keyboard and the dumbbells for a moment and make a video. That's what I said to you. And and the exercise bike, you missed that. Yeah, and the exercise. Yeah, bike. I'm I'm just too busy. What can I say? You know, mm. I'm just too busy being musically talented and keeping fit. Like clearly indeed so yeah so yeah thank you for joining me uh was there anything else you wanted to add and uh, latest episode or latest thing um no you could put my, a link to my newsletter oh like yeah in the history the history of english oh yeah history, I'll... in the history of english lots of you learn lots of idioms and their histories and stuff like that yeah i'll put so put that in out. definitely okay. definitely i think the good thing about gideon stuff is that it's often about history and ancient things sometimes isn't it which i think is nice mm. yeah yeah so uh yeah thanks for joining me again gideon you're welcome you've been listening and watching english with monty